Hello everyone. This is really embarrassing. I'm sure you can see the giant, uh, the giant stack of packages behind me. I have a problem and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Welcome everyone. Today we're doing a massive book unboxing haul for you. I have quite a few books from publishers, I think. I've been doing some shopping over the past couple of months and it all just kind of accumulated. I know I do these videos all the time, but you guys seem to really love them a lot. So we are going to be getting through some of these packages today and I'm going to be sharing with you all the books that I have acquired over the past couple of months. This might end up being a long one, so sit back, grab a drink, and enjoy the video. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, I actually have a pile of new books not in packages that I wanted to share with you first. These I think I bought, these are kind of old I think, but I haven't shared them on my channel yet. I bought them yeah, within the past couple of months, as I said. So first of all, I've been away to a small New Zealand town recently to go see my partner's family and stay with them for a few days. And of course, small New Zealand towns have the best secondhand bookshops in the world. There was this one bookshop that we went to called Minton Book Lovers. They gave me a little bookmark and it was amazing. Like never have I seen such an incredible collection of books. And the guy who works there was brilliant. Like he came up to me and usually I don't like when shop assistants come up to me and try and talk to me heaps. But this guy, like he asked me what sort of books I like. And then I was telling him and he immediately pulls out this. And I was like, okay, hang on, you're my new best friend. So I got four books from this shop. First of all, obviously, I was so excited to find this. It is The Perfect Sound by Frieda McFadden. I've recently gotten into Frieda McFadden's thrillers. I've read like four already just in the past couple of months. And so when I saw this one, I had to purchase it. It's like indie published, I'm pretty sure. So I was so shocked to find this in a secondhand bookshop. I have no idea what this one is about. I really, really enjoy going into Frieda McFadden's thrillers relatively blind, but it's The Perfect Sun. And I believe there's going to be some sort of like creepy child elements in here. This definitely looks like more of a horror than a thriller. But I'm excited to find out, like, and get the whole ins and outs of it. Frieda McFadden's books are just, like, junk food for me. I absolutely love them, so I'm really excited to give this one a go. Next, from that same bookshop, I found another thriller called This Might Hurt by Stephanie Robel. And I feel like I've seen this before. I feel like I've seen this cover. I've seen people talking about this. But for the life of me, I can't remember who. I can't remember when. I just, when I saw this, I had deja vu. And I'm so loving thrillers at the moment. I'm loving them so much. So I had to get this one. I believe there is a cult in this novel and I absolutely love media and books featuring cults. I think it's disguised as like a wellness retreat. So kind of similar to Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. I just feel like this looks so good. It encompasses so many of my favorite themes and it's a thriller, which I love. So I'm really excited to check this one out. From the same store, I also picked up a copy of Grown by by Tiffany D. Jackson. I think I posted this in my Patreon Discord or somewhere, maybe on an Instagram story. And so many people were like, Jamie, that book is fucking incredible. Like, wow. And I was so, so, so lucky to find this. I've been wanting to read this for so long. I kind of have no idea what it's about, but I think there is like a murder mystery element. It's a YA contemporary. And we follow an R&B singer called Enchanted. I believe she's kind of uh, been thrust into the world of like fame by this one like legendary R&B singer. And then one night she wakes up with no recollection of the previous day or night and there's blood on her hands and that's kind of where the murder mystery element comes in i'm really excited to read this i've heard so many great things so so happy to have found this and then finally the last book i bought from that store is imaginary friend by stephen chaboski and i have seen this around so many times like it's been out for quite a while and everyone was kind of excited to read it because Stephen Chbosky obviously wrote Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's a horror, I believe, and I wasn't really that interested in reading it until someone commented on one of my videos saying, Jamie, if you like books about satanic themes, I really recommend Imaginary Friend. So best believe I saw this and immediately picked it up because I don't know why I love books that have satanic themes, things about worshiping the devil, demons. I don't know. I love a little demonic quality to a book. And now that I've heard that this is what this has, I'm really excited to read it. So that was everything that I got from that bookstore. And now I also have four books that I got from Amazon, but they came in packages that had like other things that I bought from there that I needed. So 
I didn't save them for a book unboxing haul, but of course I saved them to show you. So first of all, we have The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. I got this so cheap and I've actually read this book before. This is the third book in like the Kiss Quotient series. And because I own the Kiss Quotient and the Bride Test and I saw this, it was like $7 again or something like that. I was like, well, perfect. I want to get it to complete my collection and my series. So I'm really excited to own this one now. It is a different size to the books that I have, which is always usually quite annoying, but I don't really mind. It's a really good romance. I think I rated it four out of five stars. Helen Huang's romances are just so good. They have so much heart. And this follows one of my favorite male main characters from the series. So I'm so glad to have this in my hands now. I also bought another romance and it is Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino. There is another book by Renee Carlino that I also really want to purchase that might be in one of these boxes or I think I panic bought it from book depository and those pages have taken ages to arrive they're not even in this pile so another book haul will be coming soon I guess but anyway who cares uh this is a romance novel I believe it's like a new adult like the characters are college aged I'm lying I'm totally lying we follow our main character Emmeline and she had this like childhood best friend and then one day she realizes that uh, this childhood best friend that she's kind of estranged from is publishing a debut novel and she reads the book and it's like the story of like her life or their life or something like that and she realizes that he's been in love with her and then like an epic romance happens from there. I could be wrong but it sounds so good. I love books about books. I love books about authors. So I'm really excited to read this one as well and I've heard really good things about it. And now because I'm loving fantasy at the moment, I also got two fantasy books. The first one is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. I've heard so many people call this like cozy fantasy and I'm just obsessed with like books that feel really comforting and relaxing and like lower stakes than others. So I'm really excited to read this one. I love the kind of fairy forest aesthetic and this definitely seems to have that. It's also blurbed by India Holton at the top who wrote the Wisteria Society books, the ro those romance books. So I'm really excited to read this. I've heard some really good things about it as well. I believe we follow our main character, Emily, who is literally writing a book, like an encyclopedia and all the different fairies that live in this fantasy world. I believe there also might be a romance that pops up, but I'm really excited to read some really cozy imagery and really just nice, warm, comforting fantasy. And then I also picked up The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin, which I believe is like a witchy fantasy book. I believe it's YA fantasy, but I have nothing against YA fantasy right now. I'm really enjoying it. I know that I've said on my channel before that I feel like I'm growing out of YA, but I feel like I mean that in the sense of like contemporary YAs or like YA romances. I am still really loving a cheeky YA thriller, thank you Holly Jackson, and also like YA fantasies. So I love this era. I feel like my inner child is healing. But I believe it's a fantasy adventure following a bunch of different witches and I believe their magic is kind of controlled by the seasons and that just sounds like a really fascinating magic system and I do love witchy books so I'm really excited to read this one too. So now we get into the fun part which is opening packages. I have no idea what is in all of these individual boxes but I'm so excited to share them with you. So I reckon we start with this pile that is right next to me and first off we have an Amazon package. It feels like there's just one book in here. So let's take a look. I know that I have a whole bunch of pre-orders in this pile so I'm excited to see like what happens. So a lot of these books I didn't actually buy like recently. I would have bought them back in like December or January and then finally the pre-orders are coming to me. What's this one? Oh my goodness I'm so excited for this one. Okay so I bought this romance called Next to You by Hannah Bonham Young and I read another book by the same author earlier in the year in February called Next of Kin and I really enjoyed that. So I'm so excited to now have Next to You which is Hannah Bonham Young's next book. It is indie published and I believe it is Friends to Lovers and our two main characters, I think the main female main character is quite short on money at the moment and then her male friend who is a mechanic is like well come work with me and we can work together Together, and then they work on cars together randomly and a relationship blossoms from there. Not super interested in cars, but super interested to see what Hannah Bonham Young has written next after really enjoying Next of Kin. So I'm really excited to have this and love the cover. I love a cartoon cover where like the whole thing is like an art piece, like it's all drawn and everything. I just love it. So this book just looks really fun. 
and yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. I believe this package is from my favorite indie online bookstore in here in New Zealand called Bookity Book Books. I will occasionally browse their website quite a bit because they have the most amazing like curated selection of books that they sell. And whenever I look on there, I find books that I've never heard of before and sound really good. So like once a month or so, I will take a browse at their new releases and pick some up. Sometimes if I like the look of anything. And luckily for me, I really liked the look of a couple of books this most recent time that I've browsed. First of all, they always come with a free bookmark. And if you've seen these sort of bookmarks popping out of my books uh, in my reading vlogs, this is where they come from. They're always so cute. So that's another bookmark to add to the collection. And how cute is the packaging? It's always so beautiful. But there are two paperbacks in here. So let's open them up. Oh my goodness. Green packaging, two green books. Love it. So the first book I bought from them is Death of a Bookseller by Alice Slater. I had never actually heard of this, but uh, obviously the title really caught my eye when I was browsing on the website and then I read the synopsis and I was like, this looks amazing. So of course I had to purchase and add to my collection. But basically we follow our main character who works at a bookstore and then one day this new girl comes to work at the bookstore as well. And our main character is like convinced that there's something fishy going on with her. And then it just becomes this massive massive like thriller about like obsession and toxic female friendships so I'm really excited to read this one it looks really good and then I also bought like a post-apocalyptic novel which I really liked the look of called The Memory of Animals by Claire Fuller another book that I've never heard anyone talk about but of course it caught my eye and the synopsis just sounded really fun basically we follow our main character who decides to volunteer for a vaccine trial and when she's doing this trial with I think four other human beings I think the apocalypse happens they look around in London and everything's gone quiet there's no people to be seen so now she's like with these four people and I think a lot of decisions need to be made it just looks really good I love post-apocalyptic novels like I I haven't read that many of them but I need more like I don't know why I love books about the apocalypse honestly Send them my way if you have any recommendations. Uh, my f one of my favorites of all time is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. But I'm really excited to read this one as well and see how it uh, fares. Okay, next we have a package from Book Depository, which I have actually already opened. And that's because I received this quite a while ago and I had no idea what it was, but I saved it to talk about in this video because I believe this is a present from my friend Aria. So I haven't even taken it out of the package. This is the first time I'm taking it out. This is Happy Hour by Marlo Granados. My friend Aria messaged me on Instagram recently and was like, Jamie, I just read this book. I think you would love it. Can I send it to you? And of course, I can't say no to a gift from a friend, especially when it's a book recommendation. So I have never heard of this, but I'm so excited to read it. It looks so good. I mean, immediately on the inside, it's comparing it to Autism Moshfag. So I'm really excited to read that. Oh my goodness, it sounds so good. Okay, I think it's like literary fiction. Woman in her early 20s, doesn't know what she wants to do with her life, is moving to New York for the first time. It looks so good. So Aria, thank you so, so, so much for sending this my way. I'm going to try and get to it ASAP because it looks so up my alley. You know my taste. By the looks of it, you know my taste so well. So I'm so excited to check this out. Oh my god, so excited. Thank you, Aria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, next I have another package from Amazon. I'm not quite sure what this one is, but we're going to open it up. It feels heavy, so I think this is a hardback, and I'm pretty sure I've only bought one hardback like a couple of months ago. So I think I know what this one is. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. So I had to buy a hardback because I loved the first book so much, and so yes, my series isn't going to match. But I don't even care. This book is just so gorgeous. The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. And I'm so excited to get to this. This is going straight onto my TBR. I read the first book in a 24 hour readathon recently. Absolutely fell in love. Sent me diving headfirst into the fantasy genre yet again. And now I have the same book. So I'm going to be reading this ASAP. Or I'm, this might be difficult, but I'm... <gasps> oh my god, stop! The Naked Book. Shut up. Literally shut your mouth. That is absolutely fucking gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay. I might try and hold off reading this. Maybe read it in a couple of months in preparation for the final book in the trilogy. But I don't know if I can wait that long. I don't think I'm strong enough for this. But I'm so excited to read this. It's YA fantasy. 
it has just that fairy tale vibe really whimsical really beautiful writing and i cannot wait to read the second book everyone says that this one is even better than the first so oh my god i'm so excited to have this in my hands finally okay now we have a big boy a big box so let's open this up i feel like there's probably gonna be a few books in here oh no it's it's well i mean it is a few books but it's not like a variety or anything it's definitely in theme with the recent book that I just showed you. I had to buy the Caravelle series. I bought the box set because I know that I really want to read it now. Especially after reading Once Upon a Broken Heart. I feel like I'm going to be so into this. So I bought the box set of the full series, hardback. And it's because I love Jax, the main, well, kind of the main male character in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. And I know that he's in here. I know that he's in this series. And people have been like, Jamie, I don't know if you're going to like it. Like, the Caravelle series is kind of a skip. But I know it's connected to the same world. I know it has Jax, one of my faves. And it's also, like, set at a carnival or, like, a circus. It's those vibes. And I love those vibes a lot. So, look how gorgeous. Okay, Caravelle, Legendary, and Finale. So, uh, these are gorgeous. I haven't bought, like, a box set, like, series in the longest time. Especially not hardcover. This is just reminding me of the good old days of BookTube when I first started in 2019. Oh my god. I cannot wait to read these. This is gonna be so fun. I honestly might binge the series. But, oh my god, I'm so happy to have these. I'm so excited. I feel like a kid again. And now we've got this box before we then move on to this big pile behind me. So let's open this one up. Okay, I think there is actually a few books in here. There is six books in here, so let's go through them. First of all, we have, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so if you saw my uh, reading only pink books for a week vlog, you'll see that I fell in love with the book Queenie by Candice Cardi Williams. And I said that I wanted to research if Candice Cardi Williams has had any books out since. And indeed she does. People Person by Candice Cardi Williams. I had to buy this because of how much I loved Queenie. This one is basically about five siblings. I believe like a tragedy happens in the family. And then these five siblings who like aren't close have to like come back together after not really seeing each other for ages. It looks so good. It's also been blurred by Caleb Azuma Nelson who wrote Open Water, which is one of my favorite books ever. So I'm so excited to read this. It looks so beautiful. So... I'm so happy that I have this. Next in this box, we have The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. This book looks so good. I think I first heard Hannah from A Clockwork Reader talking about this. And ever since then, it's been on my mind. It's been like on my Amazon wish list, And I've just never like actually thought to purchase it. And then I saw it, it was going for a really good price. So I absolutely had to get it. It's set on a dating reality TV show. I, I think I own a few books now about a reality TV show to do with like dating and relationships and I haven't read any of them but I love books set on TV sets I love reality dating shows myself so this looks so up my alley I think it's a male male romance and I think it's a romance between one of the contestants on the show and the producer so it just looks so good I cannot wait to read this one it looks really exciting I also bought this book everyone in this room will someday be dead by Emily Austin it looks like another like woman in her early 20s not knowing what the hell she wants to do with her life kind of vibe that's one of my favorite genres so I had to pick this one up I believe we follow our main character who is a lesbian and then somehow accidentally ends up working for this Catholic church when she is not religious at all. It just seems so funny and interesting and I cannot wait to read this one. It looks really exciting. Okay, we have another male male romance in here. I just had to. You guys know how much I have loved the Addicted and Callaway series uh, that I read last year. I'm obsessed with it. I had to get the first book in the Damage Like Us series, which is basically the next generation series after the Callaways. So it follows like all of their kids and stuff. I think it's a really long series, so I don't know when I'm going to start this or when I'm going to commit to it, but I had to get the first book. This cover, first of all, very cutesy, very different to the other covers I have, but also so much better than the original covers that just has like a man on it. Hate those vibes. Love these ones. So I believe this is like a bodyguard celebrity male male romance. Our main character, Max, is the son of the two main characters in the Addicted series. So I'm really excited to get to the series and eventually start it, eventually collect all the books. But yeah, 
I'm so happy to finally have this. My Callaway Universe collection is growing. We've got two more books in this box. First of all, we have Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. I saw Kayla from Books and Lala read this recently and she was like, this book is not gonna be for everyone. I do not know who would like this book. And I watched her say these things and I'm like, I would like it. This book looks like it would be for me specifically but i believe it's set at a family reunion and there's like a murder mystery kind of element going on and each chapter is about a different family member and all the people that they've killed and so while we hear about these stories about all these different family members who have killed someone we're also trying to figure out this murder mystery at this family reunion so it just looks so fun so exciting so silly and i cannot wait to read this and then finally the last book in that box is a hardback and it is Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna Maguire. I have wanted to read the Wayward Children series for so, so, so long, it's ridiculous. Like this has been on my Goodreads TBR for I think about four or five years. I don't even know when it came out. <laughs> has it even been out for five years? I think so. I would be really surprised if it hasn't. Yeah, 2016, we're good. My maths is fine. I just wanted to read this for so long. They're such short little books. Um, I believe it's magical realism. And now I own the first book, so I can start. I'm really excited to finally have this. I think all the covers are so, so, so beautiful. And it just looks so good. So I cannot wait to get into this one as well. So that was everything in this box. Now we're gonna move on to this big pile next to me. Three big packages and two little bags here. So I've got no pre-orders. This is so interesting. Oh God, embarrassing for me. I said there was gonna be heaps of pre-orders, but I've actually bought all this in the past couple of months. Let's move on to this one. By the feel of it, I think there's like three books in here. Okay, yeah, I bought these ages ago. I bought these so, so, so long ago. And they're finally here. But first of all, I got three books in that package. First is a book that I read on Kindle absolutely loved it so much had to get the physical copy and it is how to kill men and get away with it by katie brent i wrote like a one sentence review on this on my goodreads i gave it four stars i didn't even talk about the book i think i just said lots of helpful hints thanks and then someone commented calling me a misandrist cretin you know what i'm gonna claim that <laughs> i'm gonna absolutely claim that title love it also love this book it's so good. We follow our main character, Kitty, who is a social media influencer and she's got like over a million followers. Like when I say influencer, she is like one of the big ones in England. And then one time she gets like attacked by this man and then kills him accidentally, but then she gets a thirst for it and she hunts out all these men to kill. Literally my favorite genre is women like getting revenge for all the things that they've been through at the hands of men And this is very much that it's so good. So readable. The sense of humor in it is also really really amazing And I really highly recommend this book So i'm so glad to finally have a physical copy to have on my shelves. Love this book. Everyone go read it And then I also got so this is so random to be buying in may but I bought in a holidays by christina lauren in preparation for december in preparation for christmas i know months and months and months in advance but i wanted to read it last christmas and it was sold out everywhere and i was like this is a joke like i feel like it's one of the most popular christmas romances and it's also a time loop which i love so i just ended up buying it i saw it for a really really great price christmas books are so cheap when it's not Christmas and then they hike the price up like come November, December. So now it's actually the perfect time to buy a book like this so I can read it in December. But yeah, like I said, this I feel is the most popular Christmas romance. I feel like so many Christmas romances came out last year. It's really, really trendy, I think, in the bookish world. And I barely read any of them. So I'm excited to give in a holidays ago come December. I'm excited to read this. I really do like Christina Lauren, even though some of their books have been misses for me. A lot of them have also been hits. So yeah, I can't wait to read this come December. And then the other book in that bag was the book that I indeed mentioned earlier, which is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. I believe this is set in New York and I believe it's all set in one night. I'm not even sure. But it says a love-hate love story. So that makes me think it's a second chance romance, lovers to enemies to lovers. Love that vibe. I genuinely love second chance romances so much. Like I do not know why they get the hate that they do. Because there's something just so satisfying about watching people who have had this connection their entire lives. But like, you know, they've always had these missed opportunities. And then finally like falling back in love. I don't know. I love it. I love those nostalgic vibes. So I cannot wait to read this one as well. I don't know what order I should read the two Renee Carlino books in. But they both look good. Maybe I'll binge them. We'll see. We have 
Another book in here. I think this is just a single book. Yeah, this is a pre-order. This is a pre-order. Okay, I definitely fit some theme with one of the other books I talked about. Addicted for Now by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I've read this before as well. This is the third book in the Addicted series. And basically, uh, they're slowly republishing and releasing new covers for the series. I've read the whole series on Kindle. But obviously, I want to own the physical copies. But I want them all to match. So I pre-ordered this when it first came out. And now it's finally here. And I am slowly collecting all my Addicted books. So yeah, you guys have heard me talk about the Addicted series so often on my channel but you know it's an epic romance spanning a massive series and this is the third book and it does match my first two books so excited to get this and excited to haul the next two books in the addicted series when they get republished and released now we have this big amazon box i believe there's going to be quite a bit in here i feel like this isn't going to be one massive order i feel like it's going to be an accumulation of orders that i've made it is quite a bit in here and as you can see by the first book on top happy place by emily henry a pre-order yeah a pre-order finally <laughs> But I'm so, so, so excited to read this. This is Emily Henry's new release. Everyone's reading it at the moment. So I don't know if I'm going to wait a bit before reading it or if I want to read it now while it's still, everyone's still talking about it and there's heaps of content about it. I have no idea. But I really loved Book Lovers and I really loved uh, You and Me on Vacation. So I cannot wait to read Happy Place. I believe this is a marriage and turmoil kind of romance. And I've just heard amazing things about it. Like, I've seen so many people say that this is like the best of Emily Henry's yet. So I'm excited to see if that's true. I really did love the previous two ones. Everyone's talking about this at the moment, so I'm sure you guys don't need to hear many more of my thoughts. We have another fantasy duology that I have been wanting to read for ages. We have Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. And I've heard really good things about this series. I actually bought this after reading, you know, Once Upon a Broken Heart and I got back into my fantasy vibe. But these, I believe, follow like criminals, kind of Six of Crows energy. And I love that. I love Six of Crows. I have loved Six of Crows for years and years now. But I believe we follow an outlaw and a thief in this fantasy duology. So I'm really, really excited to read this one. I don't know much else about it, but I've just heard like, you know, amazing reviews from so many people. So really glad to have these on my shelf. Then I also bought another thriller. These thrillers are so affordable. I love them so, so, so much. The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. I've heard that this is Lisa Jewell's best. And I've read two Lisa Jewell books so far this year. Really enjoyed my time reading both of them. I think one was definitely better than the other. I really enjoyed Then She Was Gone. But everyone talks about how good this one is. So I just want to read more Lisa Jewell. Like, I, when I find my thriller authors, I find my thriller authors. I know which ones I like and I want to read their entire backlist. I guess that's what I'm doing with Miss Lisa. I believe this is about a mother whose daughter goes missing. Very similar to another Lisa Jewell book that I have read. I feel like she has a lot of books that are kind of this theme and this plot, but all done slightly differently. And she does it really well. So I'm excited to read this one too. Even if it is more of the same. I enjoyed the first time I read like Then She Was Gone. So I'm sure this one is going to be just as good. Then I bought uh, another romance. I recently bought the third book in this romance series, but I think it's a series of interconnected standalones. However, I'm one of those human beings, I'm such a completionist, if I'm going to read a series of interconnected standalones, I can't read them out of order, I need to read them in order with each other. So I accidentally bought the third one, which is a sapphic romance, I've read the first one, I was missing the second one. So I bought the second one to read first, which is Hang the Moon by Alexandria Balfour. The first book is Written in the Stars, which is a sapphic romance, and I really enjoyed it. So I really want to read this one too. Follow our main character from the first book, her brother. So we already know these characters, we already love these characters, and I'm excited to read this one. Really love Alexandria Balfour's writing style, so really excited to read this one. I got another thriller actually, and this one I think I heard really good things about on Goodreads or something, but it is The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. I believe this is about a woman whose husband goes missing, and once he goes missing she finds out that her husband wasn't really the person that he was pretending to be, so it's this whole kind of domestic thriller drama. and. I I love books like this. I find them so easy to read. Like these are my favorite junk food reads. So I'm really excited to read this one as well. I have another pre-order here, which is The Secret Service of Tea and Treason by India Holton, which is the third book in the Wisteria Society series. I believe this is a historical romance uh, featuring two rival spies and a fake marriage. That's what it says on the cover. 
So I'm going to believe that that's in here. I love this series so much. I have only read the first book, but I genuinely love it to pieces. They're so silly. It's like a comedy of manners. It's so funny. There are elements of fantasy in here and elements of magic. And I genuinely love India Holton's writing style so much. So I'm so excited to now own the third book, which came out, I think, last month. And yeah, really glad that my pre-order came through with this one. I'm actually going to be reading the second book this month, I think. So hopefully this one can be next month. We'll see. And then the last two books in here are part of a series. And I own the second book in the series. So I was like, well, I might as well like buy the first and the third. Because why am I owning the second one? And not, I think it's interconnected standalones again. But it is. Promises We Meant to Keep by Monica Murphy. And also Things I Wanted to Say But Never Did by Monica Murphy. And I believe that the series is like a series of interconnected standalones again set at this uh prep school called lancaster but i heard that kind of like new adult romances i feel like they're kind of dark they're kind of more on the sad side but i have uh the second book which is a million kisses in your lifetime and as you guys heard me say just earlier i am a completionist if there is a series of interconnected standalones i'm reading all of them and i'm reading them in order of their publishing date so that's why I got the first and the third kind of in preparation before I read the second one. So yeah, they're also just really cute looking. I love the black and pink. So cute. And finally, I have two boxes from, I believe, Hachette Publishing. The boxes are really big, but they're really light. So I have a feeling that there's only like one book in each of them. We're going to see. I have no idea what these could be because they're from a publisher, I'm pretty sure. How am I supposed to find what's in here? There's one little paperback amongst all of this packaging that's now on the ground. This is fine. So thank you so much Hachette Publishing for sending me Lunar Love, protected so well amongst all of this. This is Lunar Love by Lauren Kung Jessen. This is a book that I've been really wanting to read that came out very recently. It is a romance about two rival matchmaking businesses and I believe our main character, she runs a matchmaking business that is entirely based on like the Chinese zodiac. It looks so fun. It looks really really good. I don't know why but I've read a lot of romances that feature like dating apps and stuff and like CEOs of dating apps or owners of dating apps and I've really enjoyed all of them so much so I'm really excited to read this one as well. So thank you so much Hachette for sending me this novel and now the last box. This one feels slightly heavier, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's just like another single book. There's two books in here. Thank you so much for shit. Okay, so we have two books that I've been really looking forward to. More releases that I think came out in April or May. And it is, first of all, Just My Type by Fallon Ballard. I've never read anything by this author, but honestly, I'm really excited to read this one. This was in my most anticipated releases video for 2023. And it just looks so good. It's another rom-com. It's Second Chance Romance. Our two main characters are high school exes and they also are working for this newspaper. And our main character is doing a dating and advice column, but she's been really unlucky in love. So I think her ex tries to like help her out a little bit. It looks so fun, so cute, and I'm so excited to give this one a go. And then finally, the last book for the book haul is another romance, and it is Not That Kind of Ever After by Lucy Adams. And another book from my most anticipated 2023 releases video that I posted earlier in the year. I believe it's like a modern day fairy tale kind of vibe. Our main character has always believed in true love, but she's been super unlucky. And I believe it's all kind of like metaphorical slightly as well with like like, you know, the princess kissing the frog, stuff like that. It looks like a romance, but also like kind of a journey of self-love. And I really love novels like that. So I'm so excited to read this one. It looks so good. And I can't wait to share what I think with you guys. Is this my biggest book haul yet? I don't actually know. It kind of, it could be. It could be based on these giant piles. Guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this book haul. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Let me know if you have spotted any of your favorites in this video. Let me know what you think I should prioritize. But I honestly cannot wait to read every single one of these books and share with you all of my thoughts and feelings. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Of course, a cheeky reminder that all of my socials are down below, including my Patreon. So if you do want to see extra content from me, all of my early access links, uh, three extra videos a month, three live shows, all of that is on the page down below. Guys, again, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your time and your support. And yeah, have an amazing day or night and I'll see you very soon in the next video.